Hello, and welcome back, Marvel Snap fans. I'm your host, D, also known as MTF Doom, and today, love is in the air. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Alright, so it's Valentine's Day. Some of you are really excited about that. Some of you are probably kind of bummed about it. I am very happily married and my wife and I celebrated yesterday because we are non-traditional <laughs> to say the absolute least. Um, but she had she had this wonderful idea for a video today, which was the the sort of the most and least dateable cards in my collection. <laughs> so that's that's the video. Um, it's not. We're not doing any gameplay. I thought it would be funny to maybe play the deck of most dateable cards, but honestly, after making the list, it's unplayable. The de <laughs> they're they're very dateable, but they are not. <laughs> they're completely unplayable, <laughs> which worked out way better for for the comedy. So we're gonna start with some some of the cards that I would not date. And uh, then we'll do the cards that I would. And just wait till you see number one. Let's get into it. All right. The would not dates are in no particular order. They just each represent an archetype of like a person that you want to run away from. If you're going out for a date tonight and any of them remind you of any of these six cards, scoot, get, go, go home, leave, f f finago. I don't know. That's not a real word. Finito? Yeah, that's it. All right, Shh, six, Ebony Maw. This is a dude who love bombs you right at the start of a relationship <laughs> and then just like doesn't put any more effort in, right? He's a one seven. You can only play him on the first couple turns. You're like, oh, this is so great. Oh my God, everything's going so well. And then you're like, my life is ruined and I lost the game. <laughs> that's, that's Ebony Maw. Five. Bucky Barnes uh, fakes his own death uh, and then comes back with a different name on Facebook and acts like nothing happened. Oh, I'm so much better after we broke up. Oh, I'm the Winter Soldier now. Don't. Yeah, this dude faked his own death to pretend to be someone else. Ew, gross. Four. Toxic Queen Hazmat. She's just toxic. She's bad for everyone around her, right? Gives minus one power to literally everyone else. <laughs> yeah, you cannot, you cannot be, you can't date a toxic hazmat. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Three. Rogue steals your ongoing ability. I don't know what this means. Maybe she takes your wallet. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's more like, you know, she steals your energy, whatever. It's not a good look. You don't want to date this person. You know, don't do it. No, too. Dracula. This is the guy who, when you finally tell him you're breaking up, starts putting in some amount of effort, but it's still just too little too late. <laughs> he just puts in all the effort at the end of the game, but he's zero power the whole, the whole time. Sha one. Uh, Atuma can't you know, can't share anything, uh, or he leaves, right? You, oh, as soon as you ask him to move in, he, he's gone. He's destroys himself. <laughs> you can't share any space, you know, w super way, way, way too independent for his own good. All right. So the, <laughs> those are the six that I wouldn't date. Right. But now we're going to get into the good stuff. Here's, here's the list count counting down the, <laughs> the top 10 cards in my collection that I would date. A b -b -b bonus content. Honorable mention goes to Mysterio. I have 11 in the list. I don't know anything about Mysterio. I just like that they <laughs> they are the mystery gender and they are green. I'm I'm also a green and a purple person. Uh who's a ver who's a mystery <laughs> to those around me. <laughs> no one knows where I stand. So so I feel like we could be very good friends, but I don't know if we could date. I just don't know enough about them. I feel like I'd need to know more before before we dated. But honorable mention to my person, Mysterio. 
10. Number 10, Morph. So this, now we're getting into, uh, you know, this is honestly, this is trans representation, right? This is, this would be a, a great T for T date. You never know who Morph's going to be when they show up, right? That's, that's exciting. You can't really, you know, build a future on that, but that would be like a cool dating experience. Just, just who, whoever they are today is who they are. Different, different name, different face, different clothes, you know, as long as they're fun to be around, it's a, it's a positive experience for me. Nine. Number nine, we got Mystique. Now this, this follows right in the morph thing, but Mystique is nice because they like they are archetypes that you morph is a mystery who knows who morph is going to be when you show up to that date tomorrow mystique is at least you know they're always mystique they just bring different things to the table they're they're you know they are who they are and they just get better based on the people they're around right steel sharp and steel Mystique just picks up the best qualities of the people that they're around, and that's very admirable. So Mystique is number nine. Psh, eight. Number eight, Luke Cage. Now, if Hazmat is someone you don't want to date, then for the exact and inverse reasons, you do want to date Luke Cage, right? He's not going to let anything bad happen to you. He's Luke Cage, look, he's he's like a daddy. He's like an alpha, right? Nothing bad can happen to you as long as Luke Cage is around and not silenced. <laughs> you know, your power can't be reduced. How how empowering is that? It's literally empowering by definition. Luke Cage absolutely would date. Seven. The Collector. <laughs> now, one, look at the fashion sense. Look at the absolute fashion scape on this man's. I, that's so fashionable. I wish I could pull off dressing like that and having that facial hair. I don't grow facial hair like that. Um, but number two, I have literally, I literally to my left and right have stacks of magic cards on my desk that are up to my ears. So I'm something of a collector too. And we'd have that in common. And much like him, I become more powerful when I collect new things <laughs> because I'm autistic. So th that's why the collector comes in at whatever number we're at, but I've lost count because I do all the editing in post. Six. Cerebro. So, you know, like intellect matters so much, you know, when you're, when you're trying to make a connection. Yeah. You know, if they're, if they're cute, I guess that's something you want. So I don't know. That's people say that's important, but what matters so much more is someone's intellect and someone that will increase your power by plus two. And Cerebro does both of those things. So that's why Cerebro's at N plus one number, where N is the last number. Five. Titania. Listen, she a baddie. I know I said looks don't matter. This is more than looks, but I think it's also looks. I think she is conventionally attractive, right? I, th I think that's true. But more than that, you know... The fact that she switches sides, that to me is as close to like bisexual representation as we're going to get through card mechanics. And just look at her. Like she's literally tearing down a government building in that art. You, you got to respect the, the, the baddie of Titania, the bisexual baddie Titania. And that's why she's at this number on the list, <laughs> which is what we're going to keep saying. Cause I've lost count. Four. The Infinite. All right, we're getting into the heavy hitters here. So the the Infinite, you know, un unlike Atman, right? Where you can't. Oh, oh, you're here. I'm leaving. I'm destroying myself. The Infinite respects your boundaries and your privacy and your alone time, and I love that. You can't play the Infinite without taking a turn off and just you know being to yourself. You just gotta you just gotta be who you are for a little bit, and then. You, you and the infinite can go on a date and you, you two can work together and build something. And I think that that's really beautiful. Also look at that psychedelic ass fashion sense. That's so cool. Like that's, that's just sick. You cannot, the aesthetics, the aesthetics and also the, the independence, big fan of the infinite three. 
All right, be honest. You thought this was going to be number one. I think it's three. I think we have two more. But you you all thought this was going to be number one. Admit it. You thought Mr. Negative was going to... He's. Look at this. Look at how much fun a date with Mr. Negative would be. You know how much I love Mall Ninja Swords? Do you know how much I love jumping out of helicopters? He's He's dressed to impress. This is how he would show up to your first date. Jumping out of a helicopter to give you a Mall Ninja Sword while wearing a full suit. You know, like there's nothing that's impressive. I'm sorry, men, why can't you be like this? That's all I got to say. No, two. All right, this one might confuse some of you. But I feel like the hobgoblin, you'd like, you know, they'd come over, you'd be like, "All right, you want to go out?" and they'd be like, "Yeah, I know just the spot." And then they'd pull Molotov cocktails out of their backpack and run you to a government building. And I just really love that about them. I just, I feel like that's what you build a long-term healthy relationship on. And and that's why Hobgoblin is number two. One. All right, you did know. Th- those of you who didn't think it was Mr. Negative at number one, you knew. You, I, We all know. It's Mojo. This is just honestly... This is hubris because this is what I look like in real life on on a card. And so, you know, this is just this is just me looking in a a mirror. Not even a black mirror, just a very pale pasty mirror. Uh, you know, Mojo, we we've we've talked about this before. I feel like Mojo is you know, obviously fat, love that, am that. I think Mojo is queer coded. In fact, you know, I brought this up uh, to a coworker who is much more into Marvel, and that coworker was like, "You can't identify with Mojo; they're terrible. They're a horrible person." I was like, "That makes me identify with them even more." And they're like, "They have a husband," and I was like, "So they are gay? Wow! Thanks, Marvel." But here we are. Mojo is number one, and and I cannot describe why, except that. It should be self-evident. And if you don't agree, you're wrong. But if you're wrong, that's okay. Leave a comment down below who your number one to go on a date today, assuming this comes out on Valentine's Day, would be. Who, who, more than anyone else, would you be like, that's a person that I want to date? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you found this content elucidating, enlightening, and enriching. As always, if you did, The best way to let me know is to subscribe. We're shooting for 1 million. That's our next goal. You can help me get there. We're at like 104. And I hope you have a great Valentine's Day and I will see you tomorrow.